Hello, I am back, and I am back with more Resident Evil 3. So, hope you enjoyed part 1. This is part 2 of Resident Evil 3. So, we're going to be continuing on from what I did before. Hopefully, you'll see it, you've all seen it, and we're going to try and get some progress into this game. So what we're going to do is just uh, get out of this police station building that we're in. We need to progress and we can't do that whilst we're here. So let's get out this next door, get away from this ugly nemesis. And then keep going and let's get out. So just to lift it as a herb, I think we'll take this. Get one of these. Take that. And then we'll use green herb, so we're fine now. Brilliant. Let's get out of here. So we're out of here, and what we need to do is locate the door that needs unpicking with the lockpick. And I'll show you where that is. That is all the way down here. Keep going, keep going this way and then past the fire and then through the next door we go use the lock pick and then through we go right so we come through here the red barrel and then we're going to come across a spider but we're going to ignore that for the moment through here and then through the next door so there's a fire hydrant down there which we can't do much with at the moment so we're going to keep going until the next door. <laughs> right here, and then there is the dog's defeat. That just knock these off. Like that. Let's do that. Reload the weapon. And then we've got another one here. It's gonna be approaching us. Here he is. So we'll just completely just do the same as what we just did. Keep going. Go right. And then we go to the next door. So from here we go. And there's some more dogs. Let's get off. There we go. I think there's two, I think. So we'll just do the same as we just did. Keep going. And then go to this car here. And then we should get the fuse here. Oh, the power cable rather, sorry, not the fuse, the power cable. And then we should just be able to just run through here and into the next door. Go into here, open this chest up. Uh, we don't need the lighter. Could do without that for the moment. And we can get this handgun ammo here. Combine that. Okay, turn left. Let's go through the next door. And through the next door, we've got some more dogs to fight on. So we've done those three dogs without losing any health, which is brilliant. Gonna be a bit of a challenging bit that. Combine that. Okay. And then let's keep going. And then through the next doors. So we come through here and there's a map to get on the left. 
do this. Downtown map. Get that. And then we just run through. And then we get attacked by a spider. Which we need to try and take out. And get one here. Eight and then don't go up the stairs, just keep going to the end. Open this door up. And through here, and there's Carlos. We're just going to keep running up here. And he's gone into here. He's gone into the restaurant. Okay, so through here we go. There's a photo here, we just get a city guy on, click that, and then through the kitchen, all the way through, and then into this cabinet here, use the little pick, <laughs> and then we get a fire hook. So we grab the fire hook, and then use the fire hook. There. There's a bit of a story now. What's that? Calm down, lady. I'm no zombie. My name's Carlos, Corporal of Umbrella's Biohazard Countermeasure Force. What's your name? Jill, did you just say you belong to Umbrella's army? Yeah. We came all the way out here to save you civilians. But the mission went bad the minute we landed. Here we go. Right, and we want to just go for a high in the kitchen. Over here. Boom. Are you crazy? You could have barbecued both of us. Yes, we are crazy. We are indeed. Right, so run past him at the door. I need to ask you something. Why did Umbrella send your team here? Our mission is to rescue the civilians. How kind of you. Considering Umbrella caused all this in the first place, those liars! Look, we're just mercenaries, hired hands. No time for talking. If you can believe me, then join us. Think about it. You're gonna run off now, and you have to leave the poor lady around. Anyway, so right down here, through the door there. And we should find a rusty crank on there. Is. So we take that and then put some shotgun shells here and then open the treasure chest up and I'll take the ink ribbon and we'll save it here. Hard one. And we'll write that. That's a little bit of the ink back, we don't need that. That is... Let's get out of here. Oh, those nemesis. Down the end. Out the door. So he's going to be off us in his next bit as well. Keep going. Go through it. Through here. When we get through here, we just need to push the steps forward. 
all the way to the end. Keep going to the end. Hang on. Should it all be there? And up. And then push the button. Turn the power on. And there's a photo there. Photo B. Click that. And then there's a first aid spray. I'm gonna leave that for a moment because I don't have much room. Just press the button here. And through we go. Upstairs. And through the door. Keep going. There's a zombie here. Green gem there to collect. Fully in there. And there's a photo there. Photo C and it's down here. Nothing interesting. So we we'll keep going. Dodging them six. Run downstairs. And what I might do is just use that and then first aid spray. Let's go through here. And you need to keep going. And then use the two gems that we've got in here. Then we use that. The blue one and we've got the green one to use. Yes, we know that. And the green one. And that should let us through the gate. So we just continue through the door. Uh, keep going all the way and then we chuck a left. Chuck a left and through the door. Trying to avoid these zombies. And through that gate there. And then through this garden path. Mm -hmm. Take some of those, I think. Take that one. And then I'll combine the two. Here. We 
actually used fuse here. Put the fuse in there. Get rid of that. You're one of the survivors from the rescue team, right? I just ran into your teammate, Carlos. How did a girl like you manage to survive? Hey, I'm no ordinary civvy. I'm a member of STARS. STARS? You mean the RPD Special Force Team? Ugh. Hey, is someone wounded back there? Yes, there is. Oh, this looks bad. Uh, they're coming. Get ready! Uh, uh, fire! Fire! Stay together! Calm down. You're safe now. Everything is gonna be okay. Okay, and let's go through this door here. And get another cutscene. So Jill, did you decide to help us out? It looks like we're the only ones who survived. We should work together. No, we can't trust her. Why? But Sergeant, we need her help. Our unit's down to you, me, and Lieutenant Mikhail. That's it. And Mikhail's hurt bad. If we don't cooperate, we won't be walking away from this mission. Make you mind that. Fine. Then let's go over our plan. We're moving to the clock tower area, which is the designated landing zone for the extraction chopper. Once we get there and give the signal, the chopper will fly in and pull us out. That's a lot of ground to cover. I, I don't think we can make it on foot. The main problem we have is that the landing zone is cut off from here by the fire. So we have no choice but to use this cable car to navigate through it. Fortunately, we can also use it as a moving shield to get us through the worst areas. That works for me. Good plan, sir. Okay, people, let's get moving. Jill, put this on. Yes. Right. Let's just pick up the wrench, which we're going to need in a moment. And let's get out. Let's see. Okay. Nothing. Okay, let's get out of here. Right, so let's go back over the blocks and then through the door. And through the door, we need to go basically right back on ourselves again. to this part here we need to go down the other path and open this door up here follow this through to the petrol station we're going to use the wrench here which is going to break when we use it this is where we use the wrench Here. Jill! Got a bit of a story with Carlos. Hey, the zombies are getting restless. I know. I can hear them. 
What's going on? Jill! That's it, Carlos. What's wrong? Just get on with it. They're coming. They must have sniffed us out. They know we're here. Hey, oh calm down. Any objections to my playing hero this time? What are you doing? Carlos! Alright, so if we go through the door here, let's just check if there's anything in here for us. Nope. Not okay. So let's let Carlos do what he wants to do. And we're gonna offer it the electronic lock. Be on its own. I can get be on its own, surely. After several tries. Well, right, take the machine wheel, yes, we'll take that. Take the first aid spray, yes, and let's get out of here. It's all gonna explode. Let's get out of here. Yeah, let's just go. Carlos is actually okay. No. Relax. I'm not dead yet. Are you okay? I'm fine. Uh, that hero stuff is harder than it looks. Alright, let's go. Get out of here. Ouch, my ears are ringing. We both should be deaf by now. Okay, I'm gonna scrounge up some equipment. There might not be any at our destination. Right, so he leads us to it, thanks for that. So what we need to do now is go back on ourselves slightly. So we need to come back down here. And where the path is to the left down here. And then keep going. Got some zombies to take out. We're gonna use the shotgun for this. It's easier. Take them out. Can't get the book in there at the moment. We haven't got enough room. So we're just gonna leave it for the moment. 
So we come out of the park here. Straight back down here. Straight through this door. Keep going. No! I'm trying to try and avoid that, but I mind. Anyway, down here, throughout this next door. So out right here. Then he's still left. Oh, we should have, what we should have done was dropped off. So we should have actually, of oh, actually, no. Go back on myself again. Let's go back out again. We can actually, we can actually get that um, the other part uh, a bit later. Actually, leave that. Right, so down here, try and avoid these and I'll defeat these again through that door. through this door here. So we go through this door. Uh, we can drop off some stuff if we need to. What should we drop off? We've got not first aid spray, but two first aid spray, we don't need all those. I'll drop that off. Let's go through the next door. And then we just go all the way down here. Keep going through the next door. There are going to be some random crows that are going to come out here. Just going to ignore them for a minute. What we need to do is go to the fire hydrant. As soon as you get to the fire hydrant, use the wrench and then you can use the hose. to get fire hose yes discard it thank you and then through here back through here destroy that barrel there just kill them off and then through the next door So we should be approaching the hose soon. Trying to avoid these. Go through here, and I think this is this bit here. This is where we use the hose here. Yep, it is. We use that there. through here now. And we see to keep going to this next part. Pick up this uh, crank. Yeah, pick that up. Let's avoid him. Let's just get in here. Wait. What did you do? I had no choice. 
He was about to turn into a zombie. It would have been a threat, so I eliminated it. But he was still conscious, wasn't he? He was as good as dead. He conscious? And it took fewer bullets and to kill him now than it would have if he had transformed. Right. Let's lead into it. Um. Oh, there. Turn on the remote here. Yeah. Aqua cure. Okay. Aqua cure. Let's lock that in here. Aqua cure. Yeah, hang on. Q. Should I open the next room? That one. Cool. So let's go into the next room now. And then let's just go down here. And we should find some oil. Then we can combine the two together. Alright. Yes, they're going to come in right where we are. Yeah, thought they would say that. We're the best thing to do, there's a lot of them. Just use the shotgun. Out next door, and then I guess Nemesis is probably going to turn up in a second. Here. 
he's going on here. Now what the hell was that? save it and stop part two so i hope that you've all enjoyed this next uh, part wasn't evil three we're slowly getting there uh, slowly getting towards completing it obviously a while away to go yet actually but it's all good progression i hope you all really enjoyed this as well and see so yeah, i will be doing part three soon so yeah Hope you all enjoyed it and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you very much. We'll see you soon.